Hey guys, welcome back to the Styles UK YouTube channel. In last week's episode of Artworking for Heat Transfers, Dane showed you how you can remove artwork from a white background. We wanted to make sure that we covered all of our bases when talking about artworking. So in today's episode, Dane's going to show you how you can remove artwork from a black background. Stay tuned. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how we remove the artwork when it's flattened on a black background. It's very similar to the way we just did it with a white background, but we have to do one thing in beforehand um, to kind of set us up to get to the same exact steps. Uh, so uh, let's take a look, see how we do it. So here we are. We have the image that we want to remove, this, shark, this great white shark. I want to take it off of the black background. If we look at my layers, it's locked again. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the channels. And I'm going to take a look. See, we have a blue channel, our green channel, and our red channel. Now, since this is um, flattened on a black background, notice the background is all black. And what we had before, when it was on a white background, it was all white, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these channels, invert them, and then start off with our mask. So here we, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to go to my blue channel, and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go ahead and name that mask because it will be our mask moving forward and I'm going to come over here and grab this duplicate that grab my red and duplicate it so now we have red copy green copy and the mask here is our blue copy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit command I or control I to inverse that channel like we got here uh, same thing on the green copy and the same thing on the mask all right, so now what we're gonna do, we have our mask channel. Remember before in our other video, we had to apply the green and the red to it. We're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna apply the green copy this time, not, not this green, because then that'll just put a big uh, black background on us. And then we're gonna apply the red. So with my mask selected, you can see my black information here, my white background. I'm gonna go to image menu, apply image, and then right here, we're going to apply our green copy. We'll just kind of go down the list. Doesn't matter what order we do it in. But now you can see the change there. So we'll do the same thing. Image. Apply image. And we're going to apply the red copy. And I'll hit OK. So now I can throw away the red copy here. Just delete them and throw away the green. Because we don't need it. We just stole body parts out of it basically. So now we have our mask channel. Just like we had when we removed it from the white background. And what we have to do is colorize or fill in solid this shark, right? Because I want to have all this detail, all this white. We want to make sure we keep it. And remember, the computer doesn't see white as a color, so it would have no data there. And if we look at my channel, this is reversed. So all this white stuff won't be there. We got to cover everything with solid black. So I'm going to hit my B key to get my brush tool and just start painting. You know, there's a couple ways, again, we could do this. If I go over to my uh, quick selection tool... Right, I can click and drag and just let it select out to that whiter edge right there, like just like this. I'm just clicking and dragging, no shift keys or anything like that. Because this tool, if you notice in the middle of it, has a little plus sign. And when I hold the option key, it has a minus sign right inside of it. Uh, and just like all the other tools, right uh, bracket key enlarges it, left bracket key reduces it. But if you notice, we have the white selected in some of this stuff, which is what I'm looking for. I want to go all the way to the white. So I can either select it this way and let it go find the edge and just kind of take a look. Uh, and I'm not holding any keys, right? Just the, the tool itself to find that white edge so we can co uh, cover it. Uh, as you can see here and here. All right, so now... The shark itself is completely covered inside here. Black is my foreground color, so if I hit Option Delete or Alt Backspace, it's going to fill that selected area with black. I'll deselect it. So now you can see right around the edge, we have a little bitty white line, and we got this one, which we didn't capture properly, which is all right. So I'm going to hit my B key, right? I'll zoom in on this thing, and I'm just going to go right ahead and grab... Right, uh, paint, paint right on top of this little line here on my mask channel as you can see just like this now remember if I hit my R key on the keyboard 
I can rotate my pan, my uh, screen. And that's just going to allow me to pull it down, which is much more comfortable for me to draw with. Just, you know, like a natural positioning of my, my hand. So I just overshot this, like you can see here. I'm going to hit control, uh, Command or Control Z to get rid of that because I want to make sure it's it stays soft and faded around that edge of that white outline uh, that we're working with. So I'll just keep doing it this way. Now right here, again, I'm going to hit my R key and I'm going to rotate while I'm holding the key. Uh, my space bar would allow me to move my image around and I don't have to zoom in and out. So that's another handy little shortcut. Uh, again, space bar moves it. That looks pretty good here. Almost. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit my R key again because I want to make sure I get a little bit more comfortable in the positioning. I can do like that. I can make it a little larger so I can kind of get it with one stroke. I'll hit the R again because it's super easy and super quick to do. Uh, and if I'm doing, if I'm moving my hand, right, in a comfortable position and a more natural uh, drawing stroke, then I'm much more accurate while I'm doing it. All right, that looks good. I'll hit the escape key which takes us out of that rotation. Command zero or control zero would fit it to my page again. So now let's take a look. This artwork here, I wanna keep all the blue stuff in the background soft and faded. Maybe wanna pull this off, put some half tones to it, make a transfer and smash it down on a navy blue shirt or something, right? But I want this shark to stay just like he is. So go to my layers. You can see we have a flattened layer there. So if I go to the select menu, load selection, right? I'm gonna load my mask. I hit OK. There's all my stuff. Now, if I hit, uh, remember, Command J or Control J, it's going to remove it, the artwork, put it on a transparent background. We took this one off of a black background. So if I add a new chan a new layer here and put it underneath, and if, if I go over to my foreground colors, as you can see here, there's black and white. If I hit this little arrow tool, it gives me my white now. So now, pulled it off a black background, put a white background underneath it, option on that layer, option uh, delete or alt backspace, and it does that. So now I'm gonna go to my artwork layer. Almost finished, remember we have to go to layer menu, come down to matting, and before we did the white, well now we pulled it off a black background, so let's go ahead and remove that black mat, and we take a look, and there we go. Our artwork is transparently done, right? All the transparent pixels are there. It is um, pixel for pixel, removed off, put on its own layer. So if we wanted to, we could take this guy and now add half tones to him, which we're going to do in another series of videos. Uh, so stick around because still got a lot more coming. And just like that, you now know how you can remove your artwork from a white and a black background, making them ready to be printed as custom heat transfers. While you're here, make sure you subscribe for next week's episode as Dane is going to be covering a topic that we get a lot of questions on, how to remove soft edged artwork from a white background. Until then, don't forget you can head online to order the world's number one custom heat transfers today from custom.styles.co.uk.